Thursday. It's the Breakfast Club, bitches. You're done. <clears throat> Yes, Donkey today for Thursday, March 25th, goes to a woman named Stephanie DeNaro. Stephanie is 38 years old, and she resides in the Lower East Side in Manhattan. Uh, I was reading a story in the New York Post this morning that is highly entertaining. The New York Post describes Stephanie as an anti-masker, fiercely opposed to coronavirus restrictions. Now, before I tell you what Stephanie is getting this hee-haw for, let me give you a little broadband backstory on Stephanie because the Internet has done some digging. And I saw on Hollywood Unlocked, uh, drop on the clues bombs for Hollywood Unlocked, my man Jason Lee was happening. Dramos' crush. Man, shut up. Uh, I saw in Hollywood Unlock some past comments Stephanie made when she was attending what looks to be like a rally for Trump. Uh, I don't know how long ago this was, but Stephanie had on a pink Women for Trump shirt. And she was speaking about her baby daddy being Jamaican and her father being Sicilian. Sicilian? I don't know what one has to do with the other, but listen. Is the father like black, African? What is he, Jamaican? Yeah, he's a J- Jamaican, an Afro Cuban, and I met him in Washington Square Park when I was going to NYU. Was that um <clears throat> that black um shalong so good that you had to? I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. So is it true? If you go black, you can't go back. My dad is Sicilian, so you know. Ten, oh, so you're already black. I'm already black. Think of yourself a black woman. Well. I'm Italian. Oh, you're Italian. So what does that mean? I consider Italian people white. Well, if you're Sicilian, especially, you can be black. Are you looking for a white baby daddy? I mean, it would be nice. Yeah. Why do you want to have a white baby daddy? Because I want to have a white baby. You, do, would you value this baby more if it had blue eyes? Um. Well, it would probably be pretty with blue eyes. So do, do, does that indicate her beauty, blue eyes? No, I just want to see how my genes would play out. Now, I'm not the highest grade of weed in the dispensary, so if I'm not able to follow her, forgive me. Does anyone in this room know what the hell she was just talking about? Anybody? Nobody? Okay, Mm -hmm. good. Uh -uh. Uh, Well, let's continue. Now, another person at this rally asked about her woman for Trump shirt, and remember, she has a Jamaican baby daddy. I guess somebody labeled her racist, which caused Stephanie to defend herself and explain why she can't be racist. Listen. So tell people about the shirt. Tell everyone I'm racist, and these are my four, two, my four black children. Hello. I know. I'm very racist. So what's up? Nothing. Why are you here today? Because I want my kids to go back to school. Okay. I think I follow that one. She has four black kids, so she can't be racist. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder if white people like Stephanie realize that slave owners father children with their slaves. Uh, do your Googles and pull up Scrum Thurman, you know, racist segregationist whose name shouldn't be on any highways or buildings in South Carolina, but he was pro-segregation. He ran for president in 1948 as a third-party candidate committed to keeping segregation alive in South Carolina and the whole South, period. Uh, he voted against the Voting Rights Act in 1965. He asked the FBI to investigate Martin Luther King as a communist. Oh, and by the way, he had a black daughter from a black woman, a maid named mm-hmm. Carrie Butler, who was 15 when he was 23. So I don't know why people like Stephanie... The Naro think just because you have black kids, you can't be racist. But white ever. Okay, let's get to why Stephanie is getting donkey of the day. See, Stephanie was in a bagel shop in New York. What's the name of the bagel shop? Uh, I think we got it in here because yeah. I can't pronounce it. it? Davidovich Bakery. Oh, I can't even. I'm not even going to attempt that one. What is it? Davidovich Bakery. Davidovich. Divi- okay, yeah. What she said. Uh, she <laughs> was in this bagel shop in New York and she got into a back and forth with a black bakery staffer. And this happened. If you want to serve her, let you go. If you want to serve her, serve her. If not, let you go. Take her out. Ma'am, ma'am, hello, ma'am. He's not going to serve her, so please leave. Why? Because he's a bitch-ass nigger? No, excuse me. Oh, my God. Hello, hello, That's what he is. Hello, hello. Now you need to go. That's what he is. Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. You need to go. You heard it. Let me call a cop, because this may have been very disruptive. It doesn't affect me that you're not going to serve me. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> now let's unpack this, uh-huh. as my therapist would say. Okay, Stephanie, Stephanie says you can't be racist if you have black kids. Well, I'm not the strongest Avenger, but I don't think having black kids gives you the right to use the N-word. In fact, I would think that if you were white with black kids, the last thing you would want to do, Stephanie, is have your children referred to as the N-word. And that would keep you from calling... Uh, other black people that word, but hey, man, what do I know? I'm a st- I'm still a guy who uses logic and reasoning and common sense. I try to deal with facts, but none of that matters in this era. Listen, we all just heard Stephanie DeNaro call that black bakery worker the N word. It's on video, but the headlines that I saw this morning are Bagel Karen denies 
in capital letters calling NYC worker the N-word despite shocking video. I can't make this kind of stuff up. Listen to Stephanie when she was asked about it. Why well, you called the gentleman the N-word? I didn't call him the N-word. What did you say? I called him um, a term to describe his behavior. Which was what? What did you call him? Which was what? You have it on the, on the video. You know, I'm just I'm just confused about this life thing. Like we, we live in a world where people act like we can't see them. We live in a world where people act like we can't hear them. And when we do see and hear them, why do they act like what we see and hear isn't true? People are really peeing on our heads and trying to convince us that it's rain. Side note, why do we say that? Don't pee on my head and tell me it's mm -mm. rain. Why do we say that? If we wanted to, it's, it's, it's like we say it as if we wanted to be pee. Like if I just pee on your head and tell you it's pee, you'll be fine with it. But anyway, Stephanie took the Instagram where she continued to pee on our heads and tell us it's rain. And she posted the black and African-American race, the black and African-American race. Isn't the black and African-American race the same thing? Am I finished yes. or I'm done? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's what anymore. Stephanie said the black and African-American race <laughs> is the only race allowed to use the N-word. Everyone else can say it in their head. <laughs> <laughs> if they so intensely desire, but verbalizing it is not acceptable. It never was and never will be. Hey, white people, Stephanie don't know what the hell she's talking about. We don't want you calling us N-words in your head either. Okay, that's covert racism. <laughs> you calling me the N-word in your head definitely means that your actions may possibly reflect that. Now, Stephanie also put a caption, okay? In the caption, she said... All of you hating on me for no reason. News flash, I am black. My skin color does not look dark, but my ancestry results came back as me being black. So do, so do <laughs> not be mad at me no more. Leave me alone. As a young black woman, I love all of you. Shut I think up. I'm in a bazaar. I'm just going to put that. Go look at her page. <laughs> Stephanie DeNaro, S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E-D-E-N-A-R underscore. It's right there. I think I'm in a bizarro world. Nothing makes sense anymore. This woman might really be black and something might be wrong with my eyes. Or maybe she identifies as black and I am oppressing her by telling her she's not. I don't know. All I know is until we figure this out, please let Chelsea Handler handle my white work. Hee-haw, hee-haw. That is way too much Dan mayonnaise. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try that mm -hmm. later. What? When I get pulled over, I'm going to say, say, I am, I am white. white. <laughs> my skin color does not look white, but my ancestry results came back as me being European. So do not profile me anymore. Yes. Leave me I alone. Am. As a young white man, I right. love you, Mr. Police Officer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try that later on. I'm going to see, see what that gets me. Donkey Today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.